today, guys, we're going to be uh, swapping the intake on slips. Uh, we're going to be showing you the intake nobody ever talks about. Everybody always talks about the Trailblazer intake or one of them fast ones. I guess really this is a fast one, but it's one of our discontinued ones, and they sold the casting over to Dorman, and then the Chinese somehow got their hands on it. And uh, he's straight out of China, $105. Real cheap. We're gonna see if it fits also, but uh we'd already done a little port port work on this thing. Done took this thing uh comes apart in three pieces, which is really nice for porting it out and everything. This thing originally had like a lip in this uh throttle body hole here. Went ahead and uh smoothed it all out in there, got all nice, had a couple little ridges. I'll go ahead and put the pictures of uh all the inside here. And, uh, all right, one of the main differences between uh, these two intakes, uh, see the stock one here, it just has a pop runs through there, and the air has to go straight up all weird like, for some weird reason. And this one right here, this one just straight through all the way through, but it has like a tray in there that uh, turns the short runners into like long runners. So when the air comes in here to this one side, it swoops all the way back around, goes all the way to this other cylinder here. And uh, that's about it to talk about this. We're gonna go ahead and uh, swap uh, the rail off this one here. And we also got some new injectors. They're straight out of uh, America. No, they're straight out of China. 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 China! And uh, <clears throat> well, the good thing that I like about this intake is it retains the three bolt throttle body. And yeah, the three bolt throttle body is small. The trailblazers are 90 millimeter, these are 75, 78. But when it comes to the throttle by wire, it, it just you start running into a lot of expense and a lot of problems trying to run the. the All right, put the money in the bag. Um, you're facing the wrong way, sir. Uh, all right, give me the money! The four-bolt throttle body. Guys have problems with tuning. Uh, you got to have an X-Link that's really expensive. And uh, it, it's just, it's not worth it. X-Link is 270 and it seems like guys, some guys can get it to work. Some guys have problems with it. It's like a 50-50 deal. And uh, it's just not worth it. I mean... These throttle bodies, factory flow a little over 750 CFM. That's that's more air than you're gonna flow naturally aspirated with one of these things. And then if you are boosting it, I mean, you're gonna push the air through there anyways. So in my opinion, the way this comes apart in three pieces and you can do all that port work inside, that intake is probably the way to go over a Trailblazer SS, unless you got throttle by cable. If I had throttle by cable, Trailblazer is probably the way to go. Then you could use the 90 millimeter throttle body or the 102 or something like that. But throttle by wire, this is the way to go because it's just too much hassle trying to get that four bolt throttle body to work. Like I say, people have had a success rate with them. Some people don't. I mean, some people go back to it because surging and this, that, and the other. So this is just a way to get more airflow if you want even more airflow than this, you can always uh, port your throttle body too and make it uh, flow a lot better. But I've seen some 80 millimeters down old and it picked up three horsepower at the wheels with hours and hours of porting the throttle body. So it's probably not really worth it. But like my little brother said, we're gonna get some of this stuff swapped over. The good thing also about this is uh, your stock truck intake uh, fuel rails fit on this intake. Uh, you know, if you get the Trailblazer, you gotta have the fuel rails and all that mess too. If you just buy the intake, you gotta track down the fuel rails and then 
it just leads to just money, 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 money. When a lot of people don't need that much airflow because the, these little engines probably ain't going to eat it anyways. Yep. This also gives you a better top top look too. I like how uh, the runners look on this versus the stock one. The stock one just looks like a Minecraft got a hold of it or something. And uh, the map sensor placement. Map sensor probably. placement's a little uh, better on the new one. At least it, uh, or I mean, I guess it's better on the old one. I mean, because it's on the top and lets you uh, get to it easier. On the back, on the back of this one, it you'd have to. Probably pull the whole entire intake to replace your map since you're down one out. So that that is one bad thing about this unit. But and brake booster here. Yep. This is for your PVC. We just found out by pulling my intake. Uh, I definitely need a catch can. Because, yeah, uh, you, can, you can see inside this one. It got the puddle in the middle. I guess the added, added vacuum, extra RPM that cam stretcher out to it. Go ahead and splash it all on that hose and it sucks it in. Well, that's what we're hoping it is. Yeah, it'll maybe. Be a, it'll be a motor a just don't like that. Guy can drink, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but it sure seems like it could be that PVC. It just has a big old oil puddle in there. And it's coming through there, but it could just be straight blow by too. It could be. It might not have nothing to do with oil slots and RPM. But. That's that low drag rotating assembly. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, swap this rail. Uh, put that on there and see if these Chinese injectors work. And the Chinese intake also. The Chinas did a real good hookup on this unit. They gave you wood screws to hook everything up with. They gave you one of them wire insulated units. Gave you all these O-rings. They really knew helped the guy out. Gave you them wood screw. <laughs> no, those aren't wood screws. But. Oh, these are only right both. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the only thing that sucks is the factory intake has the brass uh, fittings in it. Uh -huh. Kind of like these here. But uh, that course, everything else takes wood screws. That, that course of a thread, though, all you need is like two turns and it's in. We're about to find out. <laughs> well, China, Mexico. And uh, got these uh, injectors on uh, fuel rails and put on this intake here. We'll see if uh, it fits the uh, truck now. Oh, I know I showed the parts on that new intake. Whoa. That's kind of the only thing I don't like is the. Uh, I don't know where you would replace these gaskets at, but now you got fancy old weird special gaskets. They're a little different than the well, maybe, maybe it's supposed to be universal. Factory. Factory ports might be a little wider, but these are a little longer. So. Yeah, just a give and take scenario. See the injectors part of the port on these ones. On these ones, the injectors are all standalone. Well, that's gonna work with the air flowing by the injector instead of it standalone like that one. Got to be more air animation. Got to be way better. You can kind of see where we ported this intake. There was a little dog leg. If you pay attention to the pictures, there's a little dog leg right here we ground I up. This out. I may get to like it. It's kind of taking up room in that port. Lighting ain't worth the flip. I can see it, sort of. Mm -hmm. See where it's all like a matte black? I don't know how that's going to flow. It was really smooth before, and it's kind of, it's not rough now, but definitely doesn't have that factory finish, so I really don't know if it's going to help or hurt, but we're going to find out. Or, I guess we'll never really know, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we will. This thing made a whopping 310 foot pounds of the other intake on that tuner. Uh, delivered torque mount, so. If it's anything over that, then it should be a little better. But I don't know if it's going to be the injectors that makes it run better or the intake, so. 
or the thermostat. We're putting a, a cooler thermostat into it while we got it out here. So all them things should run better. Something got to do something. If it runs worse, then, well, no, something didn't like itself. Why are you blaming the Chinese injectors? No, oh, that's probably. Well, you kind of just hooked them injectors to a little clickety clack pump earlier and uh, made sure they all work. You know, it only had six pounds going to it, but only three of them really had a good pattern. Yeah. But I just couldn't afford the big dog injectors right now. These are some 440 cc, supposed to be 8.1 marine injector, but they're just some moist plus or most plus, just some Chinese eBay crap. They even got their name on the injectors though. Yeah, uh, I mean they got a website, but I mean it's it's kind of like the X-Link. It's like a 50/50 deal. Some people say they're great. Some people say that they're not consistent enough to tune, which I mean, I believe that from what I've seen just looking them up, but they're gonna work for now until I can make sure all this is worth it. Like I said, this is our first LS. I haven't really seen anything this far that really makes any of this worth it. I uh, really kind of preferred my little 4.8 as far as drivability. That's for sure. These bolts that are bolting the intake together, when you get it, you actually reuse these to bolt it down. So, see how good these threads are. I'm going to thread one in the head before we ever even set this up there. See what that looks like. I bet they're super sloppy. Yeah, I think I think how cheap those bolts look. I think they'll strip off for the for the uh, head strips off. Yeah, especially if I don't drop the end date and break it before we get to. Yeah. We get to see if it's worth a flip. All right, guys, we're gonna get this thing thrown on there, and uh, we're gonna get a tune thrown in here and kind of scale these injectors. See if we can fire this thing up. Got somebody new making stuff now. Got Israel in the game too. Got Mexico, Israel, and China all in one. I think I don't like China. I love China. Don't tell me how this thing's going around. All in one part's all. <laughs> you know, this ain't no USA and all that. Maybe the truck body or something. Yeah, back in the day when the United States citizens were willing to work. <laughs> Alright, to scale these injectors, the uh, factory ones at 50 kPa, they're uh, 26 pounds. And they're supposed to be 26 pound injectors in these trucks. So, got some new injectors. The new injectors are supposed to be 42, 50. Don't really know for sure, so kind of met in the middle. And right at 50, went ahead and made it uh, 47.7. To do this, just went ahead and uh, copied the whole entire graph, or click, selected the whole entire graph, went up here and just added 15% until I got there. You just multiply, 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 and then tell us the number is pretty close to your injector rating, and go from there and see if the truck will start and run and not act weird. So, I'm gonna try that. And tune in as we go and see how that works. Alright, this is what this intake looks like. Looks just like factory with all the wires all over it. Whatever that unit is. Really? Like a radiator hose or something. Really, if we cut off and polished all them castings, it looked like one of them fast uh, LSX RT intake. And get it like a. That's the intake I wanted, but I wasn't about to pay fourteen hundred dollars. I mean, paint this thing aluminum and call it a fabricated. It kind of looks like a a uh, Hemi intake, car Hemi intake, a little bit. Do that hemispherical power. Yeah, I got a Hemi. I ain't found that hemispherical power yet. Commercials say otherwise. Well, of 
course, I want to see you full of it. Huh? I was convinced. That thing got a hemi in it. <laughs> got a hemi, but it don't run like it. All right, got the uh, injectors in there, or got the intake on there, and uh, this is going to be the first start after putting uh, reskill on them injectors. Moments later. Well, I guess you get what you pay for. Uh, pay $50 for these units, and we've gotten uh, about 50 miles out of these things before they started to uh, get real erratic. AFR just jumping all the way from 17 all the way to the commanded 14. And uh, yeah, just uh, don't buy these and save yourself time and money. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.